Pass, 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 pass. University of Michigan football, winning the right way. The Wolverine football program means winning. That translates to fun. And with head coach Bo Schembechler in charge, it also means honesty and class. That's not just an empty boast. We know it to be true, but so does every observer of college football in this country. That's Bo Schembechler. What a great coach he is in the 1970s. His team led the nation in total defense for a 10-year period and also in scoring defense. You know, he's just 18 wins behind fielding Yost and career victories at Michigan. There's every reason to think that he will get them. He will get them. And he's done it with the honesty and integrity. Michigan can be proud of the kind of program he's run. Here's some of the stats that Bo has accomplished in his time. They're just fabulous. You can read them. But 15 straight seasons, eight or more games, never had a losing season, 10, South, uh, 10 Big Ten championships out of the 16 years, 79% winning, just outstanding in every way. Believes in defense, believes in running the football, believes it's a contact sport, believes you have to be tough physically to win. Players that play for him love him. They would fall him over the hill, even it might mean their death. You've got to take your hat off to Bo Schenbeckler and the entire staff. They've done a remarkable job this year after, you know, having a very difficult year last year. And Bo Schembechler has brought the Michigan program right back to the top. The Wolverines' national reputation didn't happen by accident. Through the years, the Michigan tradition has bred success, and with that success has come attention. The Wolverines have been under the media microscope for years. Football at Michigan is an event. The television networks are in Ann Arbor at least twice each season. Better than 100,000 fans see each and every home game, and believe it, there is no place in the world like Ann Arbor on a football Saturday. Saturday morning, go to Ann Arbor. Me and my baby getting ready for some fun. Gonna let the magic come and carry us away down at the stadium. I love the action, the laughter too. I love the way they do the things that no one else can do. They've got the spirit. We're gonna catch it today. Wolverine fans tailgating, little children celebrating. Everybody very happy, cause it's football time again. And we had lots of football fun at Michigan. You love it! It's fun to be part of a winner, and when you play at Michigan, you win. 
For the last 11 years in a row, Michigan has gone to a postseason bowl game, including five Rose Bowl games as the Big Ten champion. This past New Year's Day, the Wolverines were in Tempe, Arizona for the Fiesta Bowl. Each year following the season, we've had the opportunity to play in one of the great uh, postseason bowl classics. This year, the Fiesta Bowl in Phoenix, Arizona. A tremendous setting, the weather was beautiful, the training was uh, fun, and we played a tremendous Nebraska football team in a classic game here on New Year's Day. Fortunately, we won the game, which was great, but it was a tremendous experience for these youngsters to come out of the Midwest and into Phoenix, Arizona, and have a great time. Many of their families joined them down here for the game, and it was one of those great bowl classics. We were fortunate to play against a great Nebraska team, a powerful team. As a matter of fact, we went in at halftime trailing 14 to three. But to me, at halftime, and in particular in that third quarter of that game, really brought out the great character of the 1985 Michigan team. This has always been one of my favorite teams because of the tremendous leadership of the seniors. But this team had to come back from a real adversity at halftime, particularly since we hadn't won a lot of bowl games and put on a great show in the third period and beat a great Nebraska team, 27 to 23. To me, this was the culmination of a great season, one that all of us enjoyed a, a great deal. And of course, our team, I think, had one of the great experiences of their lives in playing in that 1985 season. We feel fortunate, Michigan, that our program is thought well enough that we can almost rest assured that following any season, we're going to end up in a great setting like here in Phoenix for a postseason bowl classic. And in the 1986 regular season, the Wolverines will travel to Hawaii to close out their season before their yearly bowl trip. Why is Michigan such a draw? It's simple. They play solid football. Offensively, they mix the pass and run as well as anyone. If an opponent loads up to stop the run, the Wolverines go to the air and get it done. As a matter of fact, this past season, quarterback Jim Harbaugh led the entire nation in pass efficiency. If the other team backs off to take away the pass, the offensive line gears up and they open huge holes to let gifted running backs do their thing. On defense, the story is even more spectacular. The Wolverines are a defense that just refuses to let anyone cross the goal line. They'll run Pickett, and ready for him was big Mike Hammerstein. The story of the 1985 Michigan defense can be summed up in a word, stingy. They may give up some yardage, but they give up fewer points than anyone else in the country. How do they do it? Well, under defensive coordinator Gary Muller, defense is a mind game. And sooner or later, they're going to get you. It's a great feeling once you're out there, you know, we're all, you know, jacked up and everybody says you have to believe that they're not going to score and you know, I think deep down, every individual believes that they're not going to score. You visualize them not crossing the goal line, and you paint a picture in your mind of the stadium and the goal line and being down there inside the tent and what you have to do. And uh, once you get there and, and it happens, uh, your mind's already been there, so uh, you know how to react. Your mind, if you visualize correctly, can't tell whether it actually happened or didn't happen, so that you can improve yourself somewhat or be prepared for a certain situation that comes up just through visualization. It's not your body that gets tired, it's your mind. And if you keep your mind strong, you'll never get tired. And so you can keep the pressure on. And if you never get tired, you, you can be sharp and precise and you can never give up a touchdown. I think back to the old Michigan-Ohio State games, you know, the physical, tough games, and, you know, you just come here, expect to be physical and tough. I don't know if it, it really uh, goes through our minds, you know, to, to intimidate, um, but we want to get to the ball and get, you know, all 11 people to the ball. That's just part of uh, the way we play and the way the coaches want us to play, and, you know, if that's what happens, you know, if they get intimidated by that, you know, that's fine.
go out there expecting to win. You know, I think that's our number one goal. I think it makes everyone play a lot better. Just being able to get enthusiastic about somebody else's play it can get your adrenaline flowing just as much as that person's. You know, I get excited when I see, especially like Garland Rivers, when he gets a hit. You know, it gets me excited. You know, I can do the same thing. I'm just waiting for my opportunity. He's got my back and I got his. And if he's not there, I'll be there because, you know, he's like my brother. It's fun at Michigan. It's fun to win and be part of a program that is a cut above. Because the people you play with and the school you attend is a cut above. For instance, Michigan year in and year out is ranked highly in the top 10 of college football. And each and every year, Michigan is ranked in the top five academic institutions in the country. No other school can say the same thing. And that's not an empty boast either. You can check it for yourself. You're given the opportunity at Michigan to get the best education available. You're not just going to play football, you're going to get a degree. I think most football programs talk about academics. I think there are a lot of them that do something about it. In our program, we think it's the most important single factor in your coming to school at Michigan. You have to get the degree from the school. We're going to do everything we can to support you in terms of uh, tutoring, in terms of uh, any type of extra help that you might need. If you need computers, they're going to be available. Whatever it takes in order for you to get the degree of your choice. All it really takes is a good attitude and do the things in the classroom that we expect you to do on the football field. In the football arena, you'll become the best player you can be because of the tremendous coaching you'll get. The Wolverine staff of Coach Schembechler is one of the best in the country. Each and every position coach is a player's coach. Some of them have had head coaching experience. Some of them are younger coaches on their way up. All of them have experience and all of them take great joy in working around dedicated young men who are committed to being part of the winning and the fun of Michigan football. In addition to being the best player you can be, you'll also have the best athletic plant available to you. From the training room, which is state of the art in its equipment and its staff, to the locker rooms, to the lighted artificial surface practice fields, to a weight room that is the envy of most professional franchises, to a complete indoor practice facility where the Wolverines hold full-scale workouts when the weather outside is inclement. In short, Michigan has it all. From the Michigan football program, the entire world opens up to you. After graduation, professional football may call. The pro scouts are aware of the young men who play at Michigan, and they are highly thought of because they are winners. Michigan also boasts the largest living alumni body, and they are in positions to help young graduates in the job market. Having played football at Michigan and having a degree makes you a valuable commodity on the job market. It's true that we have more than uh, 40 former Michigan players who are active in professional football today. I think the professional teams have great respect for our program and the way the players are developed here. I think more importantly than that, um, almost all of those more than 40 players already have their degree from Michigan. So that as soon as their careers have ended in professional football, they're ready to go into the job market and they can likely get a very, very good job. But let's face it, there are very few, percentage-wise, that are going to make it in professional football. The most important thing is the great experience that you have playing football at Michigan, getting a degree from a school of this caliber, with this tremendous alumni body out there, where the job opportunities are going to be great for all of those who have played ball here and have gotten their degree here. That is the vast majority of the youngsters that come to Michigan to play. So whether you're a great pro player or whether you're going to be a great college player and then go out into the job market, it's a great place to play football and to get an education. As we told you, Michigan has it all. We win within the rules, we graduate our athletes, and we have fun along the way, and we're proud of those facts. We'd like young men who have these same goals and ideals to join us and be part of the Michigan tradition of success. Very proud of this team. I told you it was one of my favorites. It always will be. And I'm sad to see all the great seniors go. What a year you've had. What great memories you can look back on. What a great experience it is to play at Michigan. A great experience. When we look at you, as we continue down through 
the years of football at Michigan. They'll say, 1985, a great, great team. Yeah! single guy here, every coach, everybody who had anything to do with this team. Thank you, I'm the happiest guy in the world, so is Coach Bowler, so is everybody else. Hey, Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo. I have one request. I like that. Yeah, I know we all would have the seniors stand up. So if they don't have schools, have everybody else sit down. Can we do that? Uh, I, uh, the seniors uh, up. Let the seniors stand up. Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you